Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to use the auto punch in feature here in Studio One. So you can set automatic recording in and out points so you can stay creative. Let's take a look. Auto punch is kind of sort of like your assistant. It's going to handle some details for you so you can focus on the creative part of recording. So what I mean is it's going to allow you to set marker points here where you can start recording and stop recording over pre-existing track. Now in this short demo that I've been creating here, you might, you might have noticed that I haven't been resolving on the right chord. Well, that was on purpose because I wanted to show you this auto punch demo. Let's take a listen to the drum loops and this acoustic guitar track. Here's what we started with. And here's what auto punch can do for you. Auto punch allows me to set a record in marker here so I can replace the chord correctly. Now I not only did that on this chord, but on the guitar picking part here at the end, so we can all resolve correctly. We're building our demo and you'll come across examples like this in your work. And let's see, all right, let me take off all of my solos. I'm gonna come down to my electric guitar chords. Now on this here, on this track, electric guitar chords, you can see I did not resolve. If I come to bar 11 here, everything resolves on that D chord, but this, it's sustaining way too early. Maybe I you know, was thinking too much when you're recording or you, you weren't sure where you wanted to go. Well, if this happens to you, now you can preserve a really good recording by using auto punch to put the parts in that you want. Let's take a listen to this track. So we want to end it on a D chord here and beat one bar 11. You can hear I missed that chord. All right, so let's get to auto punching. Now there's an icon here in the lower playback area. You can activate auto punching by toggling it on. It turns red or the, the letter I on your keyboard. Let's turn that on. Another thing you might want to keep in mind is you can deactivate your snap to grid. Right now you can see my playback head is snapping to the grid spacing I have set here. If I deactivate that, now I can freely and smoothly adjust where I want the uh, punch in to start. I want to start around beat one bar nine, but I want to go a little bit before that so I can preserve the transient of that performance that I want to get there. And I want it to end a little bit past, maybe I'm holding the chord a little bit longer for something like that. Now, another thing to keep in mind is under preferences, advanced, you want to keep pre-record audio input. This is going to start recording five seconds ahead of when the punch happens. So you can actually have some flexibility to backtrack a little bit in case this another feature that you're recording that you liked. If you deactivate this, it'll start recording exactly where I have the playback set here on the beat before beat one bar nine, and you'll get nothing before that. So this gives you a little bit of pre-recording, all right? Let me hit okay. Now let's activate our track for recording. Make sure our correct input is on. We also have set our level here, so we can match the level that we're recording to. And I'll start, back here around the middle of bar seven. So we're gonna start recording now. And let's do some punching in. It's going to automatically punch in where we want it to. And there you have it. So while I'm playing my guitar, the auto punch feature here automatically started recording right where I set my marker to on that beat right before. So let's take a listen to what we did here. Let me back it up just a hair and let's hear it soloed for a minute. You'll hear a gap here. Nice. Now what we're gonna do is edit this. You can choose to edit this at any point, any point at all. I like to usually pick some place that is, gives me a little bit of space. All right, so let's go right about there and let's zoom in quite a bit and we'll do a quick little tutorial on editing here in Studio One. All right, because what Studio One does here is automatically create some crossfades for us. Did you see that? By dragging it over, overlapping the waveform, it automatically creates uh, cross 
crossover points. This is great because it eliminates you having to put those in manually because oftentimes you can forget that. You're in that creative headspace. All right, now let's uh, hear our track with the correct resolve. There you go. This is the auto punch feature here in Studio One. Again, the best way to find out for yourself is to try it. So stay busy, stay creative, everyone, and thank you for watching. Hey, everyone, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.